everybody. So we are currently getting ready for the first field trip of the season. Exciting. We have a little daycare coming here today. So pretty exciting. So I'm just out in the barn. As you can see, we have our little chickies here. Say hi guys. They're hanging out. Wait for the field trip kids to come. And that's pretty much what we're doing right now. This is all open and ready. We've got some awesome tumblers, the Arctic. She has it very nicely displayed in here. We've got three different coolers. We've got all kinds of stuff out here. So, pretty fun. As you can see on Von Rope Biscuit's Facebook page, she's made some new decals and everything like that. She's been very busy. And then we have our new Finstone shirts. These are awesome. She has the Doc Dog one, beautiful shirt. And then she has the boat landing one. They've been very popular, that's for sure. So, I'm currently down in the education area. This is cool. Pretty fun. That's for sure. And that's pretty much what we're doing right now. Mom's got the educational area all. This uh, particular daycare, 15 kids, is doing planting. Hey, Ride. Let's see, I think they're doing a greenhouse tour and then animal tour. That's pretty much what they're doing. Pretty fun. We'll be expecting them at around quarter to nine. Everybody's here, as you can see, all lined up, ready for the big trip. Exciting. First one of the season. And excuse me, is that a daycare? I thought it was. That's tomorrow. This is first, second, and third grade. So, let's get started. Okay, nobody's going to hurt them. Um, but, yep, she, she just called me and she is here. We do have hot chocolate and things in the barn, you guys, too, if anybody's really I'm comfortable. Stephanie. My husband and I own the farm, and you're going to have a great time today. A few important pieces of information that would be helpful to you. Behind the barn is the restroom and the hand sink, okay? I purposely have the paper towels back inside because they continued to blow to Williamsburg and back with all the wind this morning. So if we need paper towels or something to dry our hands with, I have that. Um, I know that I believe, are you picnicking with us as yes, well, yeah. lunching? What I, on purpose, I didn't wipe off where you're going to eat yet because if I did, all the pollen would fall right back on it. And so I'm going to do it right before you eat. And it's your choice whether you'd like to be over here in the sunshine by the play area or under the pavilion there. Okay? Doesn't matter to me, but maybe we can, we can figure that, that out later. We're going to do that as part of our tour. Don't worry. I know that they're making a lot of noise. Okay? All right, next, should you need a Band-Aid, something like that, I have plenty of those things inside the barn there. Also inside the barn, you guys, mostly this announcement might be for our adults because they would make this decision. We do have like barbecue, hot dog, soft pretzel, snacks and drinks, um, jams, jellies, relish, whatever you'd like to look at. Excuse our mess, we're under construction and we've enclosed this side now too. So that's why you see things a little in disarray here and there. Hang on one second. Um, and so just please ignore that. It's nothing in the way that, that will injure you or anything like that. We're almost done, but I didn't want you to think that we were literally living like pigs out here. Um, we're going to have a great time. Your rotations are as follows. And you all are in a good number of students, so we're going to stay within our group. I'll get you in just a second. Hang on one second, okay? Um, the first thing we're going to do is, Hannah's going to do... do you and um, I hope I'm that way. My uncle next door is 94. He still cuts his grass and drives. So I'm hoping I got some of the genes. Um, but anyway, we'll see what happens with that. If you come back and, and see me then, you'll know I did well. Uh, we love what we do. I have not always done this as my profession. Um, when I was maybe 18, I certainly wasn't going to farm. That wouldn't be cool at all. And um, I was doing other things. And so um, I'm really glad that I came back and I can do something every day that I like a lot. That means a lot. Then you know what? It makes it easier to do. Um, and we like sharing it with others. Our number one season is our fall season. Fall squashes, um, greens, pumpkins. We plant, we're up to 13 acres. Um, that's still our busiest season. And we open up usually the end of September and we run all the way to like November 8th, something like that. Then our number two season is strawberry season. 
um, and spring season, which is what we're having now. In the back, in a little bit, we're going to go tour our strawberry field. That's behind you. And we're up to 20,000 plants. We started with 4,000 and kind of dreaming about, oh, I hope this will work. Well, I promise you, um, 4,000 was not enough at all. We had lots of folks coming to pick, and so we knew, okay, there's a need for this here. Um, so strawberry is number two. And then blackberry is a very popular season as well. That's what's over here as we passed coming in. They're just starting to come out of dormancy, which means they look like dead, crazy vines. Everybody says in the fall, what's that dead stuff? But it's not. They come back year after year, which is awesome. Um, and then we do veggies in the summer too. Uh, so we're pretty busy with that as well. Um, we get mainly like December, January, February. I don't want to say off because you're always planning and, and starting to do things for the next season. My husband still works a full-time job, um, Monday through Thursday, and then he works usually, doesn't come in until 8.30 or 9 right now because the time has changed. So he comes home and farms and then he farms on the weekend. So we, we like to be busy, but that's a little bit about us. I did want to share this with you too, a little bit of history. This picture stays in the barn. This is my great grandfather, and I'm gonna. You guys are so responsible. I'm gonna pass this around. Just be super careful. Um, he was. You can see his bus, and I'm sure you'd all ride it. I mean, it has no windows or anything like that, so it'd be really great to ride in the winter. Um, but that that's his bus. This is his farm, which is you passed it on the way in, but you can't see the barn or anything anymore because it's not there anymore. He was a bus driver in the morning and afternoon. The postmaster, he ran a general store, and he farmed all at one time. Everybody says, well, he did that all at separate times. No, he didn't. Um, then, a lot of times it was common to, to have things like that and, and do more than one job. So while I, I talk about planting, I'm going to pass it around. Can you all be real careful? All right, great. There you go. Just pass it right around. Question in just a moment. In the plants that we plant, and these are just some of them. These are some peppers, and these are some tomatoes. We use Pro-Mix potting soil, and you can get this usually at like Ace Hardware, or I get it at Southern States. It's phenomenal. It just has lots of nutrients in it. You know how some bags of potting soil you open? I guess there's no other word for it, but it looks like they have bark and trashy pieces in it. It won't make for a healthy plant. We mix it with a little bit of regular potting soil and tobacco vegetable soil. So we do mix our soils together to get a good quality plant to come up with a nice green stem. Um, if not, they'll be leggy, and you're probably wondering what's that. It'll come up and then it'll go boop, and it doesn't have a strong enough stem to actually make it. So soil is a huge part of your planting and what you use. Um, around our blueberries and raspberries, because I'm desperately trying to start a raspberry patch. I use a lot of peat moss to bring the pH up in the soil, and that's what that is. So those are some things that we use. Um, have y'all ever also, but yet, green beans come up super easy, so that's another reason we're gonna plant green bean seed. These are called amethyst. Um, they have lots of probiotics in them, and, and they're really, really good. They have cancer-fighting things, just like the family of a blackberry and a blueberry, those purple type of veggies and fruits. And so that's what we're going to plant when we start to plant in a few same. minutes. They do. Okay? They do. Anybody they know do. what this is? That's what I'm going to pour the seed into. So just like we also plant a think, white man? cucumber, it tastes oh, good. Fly. Like it tastes just the same. I think it tastes better. And why, why a white cucumber? Yes, it's just the type it is. It's called, what is it you're, called? You're close. It is something during that, that time like that the, we we uh, use for decoration. Or something. something like that. You'll have to ask yes. her. I just don't know. She's so bored and she's mind, right. But it tastes really good. This guy is like eight years mm -hmm. old. The top kind of got a bad spot. Mm -hmm. So my husband yeah. sawed it off. We don't. And then I just use the bottom as a bowl or a fun conversation piece. Now, I can't mix a cake up in here, you guys. <laughs> it, it's more for dry type of goods, um, not not really something wet with water in it. But, yep, it's the bottom of an apple gourd. Okay, that's what that is. A um, couple other things about us this year. Super proud. We just did our second farm cookbook. So I stay busy. That's, what, that's why that's on the table. Anybody know why these things are on the table? The canned preserves and the canned relish. Do you, who do you think made them? Hey, I, did, I made them, mm -hmm. yeah. Sadly, the only canner here is me. Um, 
I'm, I'm trying to pass that on, but you know, it's something kind of tricky, but yeah, you have to really, um, it's some, I'm almost nervous. Hannah and Sophie are it's learning. Hard. I, I don't know if it's mm -hmm. that they won't, don't want to learn like for sure yet about it, but, um, I do over 1100 jars of jam, jelly, and relish, and we, I can for us as well. Um, having nice home goods like that are fabulous to offer to anything. Sunny is one, one good factor. Rainy to get water. Gotta have rain. Yep, absolutely. Um, what about it was blowing out there in the parking lot? Rain? Mm -hmm. Oxygen. We definitely need oxygen for our plants. Can anybody else think of something important for plants? And it might not be weather related. Sometimes we swat them. Um, they need to have they definitely need to have healthy, nice soil that we were talking about. That you know, the better the soil, the better quality plant you're going to get. Flies. You're close. She says flies, but it starts with a B. Butterflies. <laughs> B. Yep. He's pollinating.